Don't be spooked by technology. It's possible for something to be both creepy and cool. UT Biosystems Engineering Professor Dr. Robert Freelan likes to go traipsing around graveyards during the Halloween season with this apparatus, ground penetrating radar. As Freeland passes over a grave site, the GPR machine shows what lies beneath. It's an antenna that's emitting radio waves into the ground. It's seeing a target and it's reflecting back off the target. We're picking that reflection back, sort of like ultrasound. When something white appears on screen, it's not from the spirit world to terrorize y'all's neighborhood, but rather what is below ground. Sometimes you see decomposed bodies, but mostly the GPR picks up what contains the bodies. That's probably a metal coffin. This is part of a UT freshman class called CSI Knoxville. The students use the GPR to look at existing graves at Gray Cemetery and find and map unmarked ones. Okay, you got one right there. Okay, so right here is an unmarked grave. I really like um us coming out here and looking at this because it's something interesting other than just sitting in the classroom. It's exciting to go out on like hands-on field trips, like going to maybe like museums and coming out to the graveyard. The class learns about Thomas O'Connor gunned down in a duel in 1882. <laughs> Joseph Mabry Jr. is said to have pulled the trigger, but forensic evidence suggests others might have been involved, maybe even Mrs. O'Connor. The class theorizes that Fanny O'Connor wouldn't be buried next to her husband if she killed him, but the GPR says she's innocent. Fanny's there. You're, yeah. you're standing on top of Fanny, right? Sorry, Fanny. GPR systems have been used to locate victims, hidden weapons or evidence, and the remains of civilians in war zones. There are also agricultural uses for this technology. So Dr. Freeland's class isn't, isn't just, just ghost busted busted here. here. Use it in precision farming, mapping different soil types where you don't want to dig, so we map large areas and not disturb the soil. We also uh, use it for looking at underground pollutant plumes, looking at pesticides moving underneath the ground. While we're always looking to dig up knowledge, it's best for some things to stay buried. This is Chuck Denny reporting.